Hello and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial we will be looking at using curves um, to make tonal adjustments to your picture. Now this picture we have open here uh, we see that it is a little bit underexposed. It's quite dark in this bottom area. Um, the sky is looking great. You know, it's got some really nice strong uh, you know, qualities and nice tones in those clouds. Um, so that's working well for us. But this bottom area here isn't quite right. So we're going to use curves as a method of improving our picture. You can get to curves by going to image adjustments and curves. Uh, but we want to make sure this is non-destructive editing. So instead of using that technique which applies it directly to your background layer, we want to use an adjustment layer. So we're going to use uh, the curves adjustment layer, which we'll see will then put a layer on top of your picture. That can be turned on and off as you wish. So you want to be able to view the changes you've made. So we see this window um, pops open here. You'll see the histogram. So it provides all this information, this little mountain range here of how many shadows are in your picture, how many midtones, and how many highlights. Um, the difference between curves and levels is that we can change, um, the we can control it in a, in a lot more detail. Uh, one of the nice things is if, if we just click and pull the curve, we can you know, uh, globally increase the um, the brightness of the picture, or we can pull it down to the bottom right here and increase the how, how dark the picture is. Uh, so that's the the first simple thing really: is lightening and darkening. This button here, if we click on this, it will undo what we've done and return it back to its original state, which is very useful to know. Another thing you can do is you can set points by just clicking on this curve, and you can pull those individual points around. So here we're just affecting the midtones instead of the, the uh, highlights and the shadows. If you want to delete points, you can simply click on them and press delete on your keyboard. And it will remove them and it will return your curve to that original uh, diagonal line. Uh, so a few techniques to know are if you create an S-shaped curve, then you will increase contrast. So by increasing the highlights, decreasing the shadows, and creating a, a nice S shape, it will increase uh, contrast. Now, you can play around with this, um, but obviously you'll, you'll want to apply this depending on your picture. So this particular image is, uh, is very dark in this bottom area here. So we're going to add some points, and I'm going to affect the shadow area here. So I'm just trying to lift those shadows up. Now, with everything in Photoshop, you only want to do you know, you just do it a little bit, be quite quite subtle in your approach. Uh, so just a little bit of adjustment there will help to lift um, those those tones in the shadow area. So that's that's one way of approaching it. So that's maintained our clouds and those shadows there. So it's going to revert back to the original state, and we're going to look at using the dropper tools here. So we've got the shadow dropper. You can click and tell it where you believe the blackest point should be. You can also use the highlight dropper and click and tell it where the brightest point should be. Now you can play around with this. You can click it all over your picture, and you you can work by eye. You know whatever looks good is is great. There we go. Um, one last thing I want to show you is if we look at the RGB modes, you can affect your picture in different ways. And currently we're working on affecting all of the colours within the picture. But you can really narrow it down and, and just affect the reds if you wish. So it's increasing and decreasing the colours. It's a nice way of um, creating uh, different tones. So you could, if you wanted to, go to, uh, say, to blue. So we've got blue there. Okay, it's got a nice sepia tone. So as you can see, there are many different approaches to, to using curves. Uh, but we're going to keep it simple for now. A um, couple of things to remember, pulling the curve up, pulling the curve down, increase brightness and uh, make it brighter and darker, adding extra points and creating an S, you can create yourself a more contrast. You can also, of course, add another curves layer, you don't have to just stick to one. So one of them is brightening it up and the other one is increasing contrast. Okay. I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much for listening.